This video will explain how to use screen time in macOS. To follow along, you will want to be running macOS Catalina or later. Screen time is a feature built into macOS to help someone monitor how much time they are using specific apps and websites. Screen time also allows you to reduce computer usage with features like downtime to limit what apps can run during preset times of day, or you can set app limits so specific apps or app categories can only be used for a set amount of time per day. Screen time can also be used to manage parental controls. However, this video is going to focus on using screen time as an individual. To start, we need to open System Preferences. Once opened, select the Screen Time Hourglass. If you don't have screen time enabled, it will ask you if you want to enable it here. Usage data doesn't start until screen time has been enabled. The first three sections help you track how you use your devices. The next five sections help you limit your usage on your devices. Let's start with tracking usage by opening app usage. This lets you see how much time you have spent in specific apps, or if you want more of a broad view, you can select the Categories button to see how much time you spent in different categories of apps. You can also view previous day's usage by selecting the back arrow at the top right of the window. If you have more than one Apple device with screen time enabled, you can see specific device usage by choosing the device using the drop-down menu at the bottom of this window. Next, let's select Notifications on the left-hand side. Here you can see how many notifications you have received and through what apps. If you want, you can also see your device-specific notifications by choosing the device using the drop-down menu at the bottom of the window. After notifications, we can select Pickups. Pickups tell you how many times you have picked up each device and which app you checked first after picking up the device. This is most applicable to iPhones and iPads. Just like before, you can switch the devices using the drop-down at the bottom of the window. Now let's move on to the sections that let us limit usage by selecting downtime on the left-hand side. You can enable downtime by selecting turn on at the top right. In downtime, you can create a schedule that limits you to only using pre-approved apps for the duration of the downtime schedule. We will go over how to approve apps once we reach the always allowed section. You can set an everyday schedule or a custom schedule per day if you prefer. You will get a notification five minutes before your scheduled downtime to let you know that downtime is about to start. While you can choose to ignore the downtime for a specific time increment or altogether, downtime is more about reminding you to help you better stick to your usage goals. Next up is app limits. App limits work similarly to downtime, but you can go even further by limiting how much time you can spend on apps or categories of apps. To turn app limits on, select Turn On at the top right. For instance, if I want to limit my daily Facebook time, I can select the plus button to add a new app limit. Then I can select the arrow on the left of Social and scroll down until I can find Facebook. Once I hit the check mark next to Facebook, I can choose to limit it every day or specific days. Let's go ahead and limit it to one hour a day. Now, five minutes before I get to an hour of Facebook usage in a day, I will get a notification letting me know I'm reaching my limit. Just like with downtime, you can choose to extend or ignore this limit. The communication section is primarily used for parental controls. So we'll just look at the section that pertains to downtime. Here you can decide if you want your downtime communications to be limited to specific contacts, 
or if you want to leave communication open to everyone. Next, we will go to the Always Allowed section. This is where we can manage what apps we can use during the downtime we set up earlier. At the top, you can manage the same communication preferences that we just covered. Then, you can select the apps or websites you want to allow during your downtime, if any. The final section is Content and Privacy. You can enable this by selecting Turn On at the top right. This section is for if you want general restrictions on what websites you can visit, along with what types of apps you can use and movies you can watch. This section is also primarily designed for parental controls. However, if you would like to set limits for yourself, you can explore these settings and change them accordingly. Lastly, there's the Options button at the bottom left. Here you can turn off screen time entirely if you no longer want usage data or app limits. If you do this, it will erase your current usage data. You can also choose a screen time passcode that you would be required to enter when you choose to ignore app limits. And that's how to use screen time in macOS. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, consider subscribing to this channel for more content like this. And be sure to check out our website, whatthetech.io.